Hi, this is Jim Wyckoff with your weekly CropSite.com Grain Outlook. As we sit here on a Tuesday morning, we see soybean futures solidly higher but off the daily high. We see corn futures under some moderate selling pressure, and the wheat futures are trading, as we speak, uh, a little bit lower, too, following the corn. Uh, the main factor in the market, uh, the grain markets again early this week, is the weather in the U.S. Corn Belt. Weekend precipitation was on the lighter side than expected, but we did see a respite in the temperatures. Uh, so the uh, grain markets reacted to that a little bit. However, we come in on a Tuesday morning, and the weather forecast for the Corn Belt uh, extended forecasts are calling for a return of hotter temperatures and uh, not much precipitation. So that is auguring in the bullish camp for certainly soybean. Now, we're seeing corn under some selling pressure because the, the crop is virtually made right now. Uh, the, the hot weather that we saw last week uh, did impact the corn market to a certain degree, but, but now that the crop is matured and getting close to harvest, there's not really much more damage you can do to that crop. Not the case with soybeans, with pod filling and such, uh, uh, to end up the growing season with, uh, with that uh, plant. Uh, so as we go forward, uh, we've got uh, soybeans hovering near two and a half year highs. If we can push November soybeans above the recent high of uh, 1409 and change, uh, that would be a bullish technical clue to suggest still more upside. The corn market is still in a fledgling price uptrend, but we need to have the bulls show some more power soon to extend uh, the, this near-term uptrend. Otherwise, I think you're going to see choppy and sideways price action in the corn market. My bias is that uh, we have put in a uh, near-term low in the corn market, but for the corn market to get additional upside price action, you're probably going to have to see soybeans really take off the upside. Once again, the wheat market is a follower. The technicals remain overall bearish in the wheat market. Uh, and uh, just going to the wheat market's going to look for the corn market for correction. On the macro front, this week we have some important economic data out with Friday's jobs report. We've got some other economic data that we're going to be looking at. So the grain markets could be influenced by the outside markets. So uh, right now the soybean market bulls are in command. The corn market bulls are trying to get a foothold, and the bears are in technical technical control and wheat. Let's see what this week brings. We'll talk to you next week. This is Jim Wyckoff.